This is a sample from our training at itdvds.com. If you'd like to learn more, please go to itdvds.com. Microsoft Message Analyzer is a great tool we can use to analyze network traffic that can help us troubleshoot all kinds of network problems. So in our example, we're just going to do DHCP. But again, it's very helpful for getting low-level information to see what the network traffic is actually doing. And a lot of times that gives us information that can help us troubleshoot the problem. So I just went ahead and searched for Microsoft Me Message Analyzer, and I'm going to go ahead and download it. And I'm going to download the 64-bit version because I'm running on a 64-bit version of Windows 10. Now we can run this on a server operating system as well. So I'll just save it to I'll save it to my desktop. And you can also run it on server core. If we need to analyze the traffic for a nano server, we can run this on like our Windows 10 machine and remotely capture the traffic on nano. Okay, it's finished downloading. I'm going to go ahead and just launch the installer. Now with the latest versions of Windows 10 as of the making of this movie, during the installer, just on Windows 10, not on server, but uh, you get an error about an unsigned driver. So in order to get it to work, you have to disable secure boot on Windows 10. But again, that's not with the server operating system. Go ahead and click Next. And do we want to optimize Message Analyzer for data capture? Yes, I'll go ahead and do that. And install. Of course, this particular computer was having problems getting on the network. We could put this installer on like a thumb drive and copy it over to the desktop that way. Okay, and the installation's complete. Now we can specify when it's online if it wants to update automatically. I'll just like do not update. And there it is. If we want to install it on a server core installation, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Let's go ahead and open up Explorer here. For example, DHCP01 is a server core installation. And I could copy it to a folder or just I'll just copy it to my C drive. And here we are on DHCP01. And I'll go ahead and just run the MSI. And the installer is exactly the same. Now normally we probably want to install this on our client and analyze the traffic from there and potentially if we need to uh, remotely analyze the traffic from our server without actually installing a message analyzer on it on our server but there are times when we do or need to install it on the server in order to test things out or troubleshoot a problem. Okay and it's installed. And there it is. So we see we can run it on server core also. Now let's use Message Analyzer to try to solve a problem here. And we're going to use DHCP as an example, but it could be used for, again, really pretty much any network problem. So first of all, I'm going to open up a command prompt as an admin, and I'm going to do an IP config space slash release. So I'm going to release the IP address it had, and we're going to see DHCP working so we can see what it looks like and then we'll break it and we can see what it looks like when it doesn't work. So let's launch our message analyzer. I'll go ahead and type it in. There it is. I'm going to right click on it, run it as administrator. Click yes. All right, and let's just do a local trace here. So I'll click on start local trace. That's going to start capturing packets. And let's go back to our command prompt. And I'm going to do an IP config space slash renew. This is going to kick off the DHCP process. And we can see, okay, it worked. It grabbed an IP address. And there it is. We can see the packets start coming in. I'm going to go ahead and click on stop to stop the capture. And I'm going to go up here and sort it by module. This can make it a little bit easier to look at because we can see there's a lot of different types of traffic coming through here. And let's we're looking for DHCP. There it is. Now, if we remember our DHCP process, the DHCP client broadcasts a DHCP discover message out, trying to look for a DHCP server. It broadcasts out on 255.255.255.255. DHCP server gets it, sends back a DHCP offer. Then the client again sends back a DHCP request saying, "All right." Give me an IP address and any other parameters. 
and then the DHCP server sends back an acknowledgement to the DHCP client. So we should see that. And here it is. So here it is. We're sending out a DHCP discover. And you can see the source is 0.0.0.0. .0. That's because this computer doesn't have an IP address yet. So that's what it's using. And it sends it out to the broadcast. Then we've got a couple different situations here. We've got .225, which is DHCP01, sending back a DHCP offer. We've got 227, which is another DHCP server, DHCP02, sending back a DHCP offer. And then down here, we actually have 192.168.6.1 sending back another DHCP offer. So I actually have three DHCP servers on my network sending back an offer saying, hey, you can use me as a DHCP server if you want to. Then it sends back a DHCP request, again, broadcasting it out. And then it's actually DHCP02 that sends back the acknowledgement. And we can confirm that. If we go back here to an IP config space slash all, that DHCP02.227 is, in fact, uh, the one that gave it the IP address. So pretty cool. We can see the whole process here. And this goes, you can see all the other different uh, protocols we're working with here. And if we highlight one of these and we go down here to details, we can actually see the details of that packet here. So we can see your IP, 192.168.6.181. Remember, this is DHCP02 sending it back to this computer. And that, in fact, was the IP address we got. And if we go down here and expand it out further, we go into options. Here's the different options that were sent back. So you can see like domain name server. These are our name servers that it, it received. So this is what it looks like when DHCP is working. Now let's go ahead and break it. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. And let's go ahead and release this IP address again. And I'm gonna put this computer in a different VLAN that does not have a DHCP server. Okay, I've done that. Now it doesn't have a DHCP server. Let's go ahead and start a local trace again. And I'm going to do an IP config space slash renew. So that's going to eventually time out. It's going to take a while. I'm going to sort it by module. And you can see we're sending out, well, a bunch of discover packets. So that's the first step. Now we're waiting for a response from a DHCP server. So you can see it keeps on sending out Discover saying, hey, any DHCP server out there? Any DHCP server out there? And there isn't one. So this would tip us off and say, okay, the DHCP Discover is most likely not getting to the DHCP server. So you know maybe we need to set up a DHCP relay agent. Or obviously there's some sort of uh, disconnection there or if it is the DHCP server certainly isn't responding so that's message analyzer it works very well uh, and really helpful for diagnosing kind of low-level network problems